Hey everybody, this is Joe Gilder from HomestudioCorner.com. We're talking 12 home studio necessities, number two, your DAW, or DAW, or in other words, recording software. DAW stands for Digital Audio Workstation. You'll see that lingo used a lot on my website and lots of other websites. They'll talk about their DAW. What is a DAW? Well, Pro Tools, Studio One from PreSonus, Cubase, Nuendo, uh, Sonar, uh, Ableton Live, the new thing from Reason, uh, and Reaper is another big one. There's lots of them out there. And those of you, if I didn't say your platform, I'm sure you're going to leave a comment and ridicule me because of it. But there's lots of recording software out there, okay? And when you're just starting out, maybe you just used whatever you had available. Uh, maybe you used GarageBand on your Mac, or maybe you had a free version of Cakewalk that, that you had on your computer or somebody gave you or whatever. Um, when you're starting out, you're just learning. You're learning the ropes. You're trying to figure out this whole recording thing, if you even like it. So the software doesn't matter too, too much. But at some point, you're going to say, okay, I like this. I'd like to have some more features. I'd like to be able to do all the things I want to do or all the things I see Joe doing in his videos and things like that. At that point, you're going to need to pick what software you're going to be using. Now, I'm going to say kind of the same thing like I said for the computer. It doesn't really matter what software you use. There have been hit records made on Pro Tools, obviously. There have been hit records made on Cubase and Sonar and Nuendo, all those different platforms. So what you use doesn't really matter all that much. I used Pro Tools for years, now I'm using PreSona Studio One, okay? I'll, I'll do a series of videos explaining why, but uh, I, I really don't feel like the difference is the software itself. It's kind of like, think of your favorite author, Ernest Hemingway. I, I, I'm not a big fan, he just popped in my head. I don't know his stuff, but Ernest Hemingway, great author, or Mark Twain. Nobody ever said, Mark, what, what typewriter did you use? Dude, your stuff is amazing. Huck Finn is the best book I ever read. What typewriter did you use? That's stupid, right? Nobody would ask him what typewriter he used, or they may ask him, but nobody makes that correlation of, if I use this typewriter, I'm going to release this classic, you know, that's going to be read by children for centuries to come. That's just, that's just not the case. And it's the same thing with recording software. Find one that's compatible with your computer. So if you're a Mac user, you're not going to be able to use Sonar. If you're a PC user, you're not going to be able to use Logic. That's an obvious thing. And then just find one that kind of fits with your workflow. If you know somebody who's using software, take a look at there. See how it works. If it looks like something you could get your head around and seems fun to you, then go for it. There's, at the end of the day, there's going to be a learning curve with any system, and no system is really that much better than another. They're just different. It's like different cars. This car will get you from A to B, so will this one. They do it different ways. They have different engines, but in the end of the day, you've got to know how to drive it and they're going to do the same thing. So don't get too hung up on software, and I'm not even going to talk about plugins. We'll get to that another day. But just find something that works for you and stick to it. And don't be in the habit of changing your DAW every couple years because you see a new, shiny new feature come out. I promise you there were hit records made on Pro Tools 6, and we're up to Pro Tools at, the, at this time of the, this video. We're up to Pro Tools, I think, 11, okay? You don't need Pro Tools 11 to make a great recording. It may have some cool new features that might help you do that better or increase your workflow or whatever, but don't get caught up in that trap of constantly upgrading or constantly changing from one software to the other. You know what that does? It takes up your time and keeps you from making music and has you just focused on learning software. And that's not cool, that's not fun, and it won't help you get better.